Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here with Peterson Electric. It is January 2018. Um, we're doing a video real quick on arc welders. Um, the complaint we had was that we had a wire short out in a box and it arced really bad. And so they used some tape and just taped it up. We re-spliced that box right there, 50 amp cord. We have about a 65 foot volt drop and I'll explain that to you guys in the second video. This was unsecure and moving around. This had eight gauge coming down instead of six gauge. The machine calls for six gauge or 60 amp. And we have a 50 amp breaker right here feeding it. Um, we're also gonna talk to you later about another video about the two pole here that's feeding a single phase, almost like a residential panel at 100 amp. It's got aluminum bus bar. This is a three phase panel at 120 wide, 208 volts. Um, but anyways, some of the concerns that we had was the voltage drop of how far, and we also had two welders that were split, um, which is tapped, and you're allowed to do that. One is 140 volt, uh, uh, excuse me, 140 feet of, a, of a, a voltage drop, and the other one has about 60. Um, so I'll go through that, that calculation and the code with you real quick on that here in a second video. I'm just trying to be as quick as I can before they start pounding again. Um, but anyways, we found the wires loose inside of here on the breaker, especially the B phase. And then down here, we had blue wire caps twisted everything together. And the red one, again, on the B phase was loose as well. So this is going to be A, B, C, or black, red, blue, A, B, C, black, red, blue. This is on A and B. We have found that once they hit the arc welder, we're bouncing up to with an inrush current at 253 on B phase, 190 on A, and 170 on B on the C phase. So basically what we're gonna come back and do later when they're not in business and it's after hours, we're gonna move this guy down to A and C. This dryer is hardly ever used. We'll move him up to A and B and then we'll have C and A on that panel. This bus bar in here was actually a little bit discolored on the B phase, which then the wire feeder came to here as well. Anyways, thanks guys.